Okay, so you are selling Medicare Advantage and you're hearing objections when you're trying to set appointments over the phone. How do you deal with those objections? Coming right up. Hey, 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 it's Dave Duford here at DeFord Insurance Group where I train and recruit agents nationally to sell things like final expense, Medicare, and annuities, both face-to-face and over the phone. Please make sure you subscribe if you happen to like this content. Thank you so much for watching. So the purpose of today is to give you a simple strategy to deal with those frustrating objections you may hear when trying to set appointments over the phone for Medicare Advantage. I have a real simple system that works almost flawlessly all the time, no matter what kind of objection that you're going to hear. I'm going to give you the system and give you a couple sample objections so you can hear how it sounds in reality. So the system that I use is called the ASK method when it comes to objection rebuttals. Very simple. ASK stands for A, answer the objection, S, sell the appointment, and C, close the appointment. So let me explain how this works. You see, most objections that you're hearing on the phone, what the words they use to describe their objection isn't actually why they're objecting. There's some unspoken reluctance, resistance, fear, whatever it may be. It's not verbalized. There's just some issue with having a stranger or salespeople person come in their home. And frankly, we can understand, right? I mean, not everybody wants a salesperson in their house and our prospects probably don't either. The thing is, is they're reacting on the spot to your offer, whatever your pitch is to set the appointment. And they're reacting in a way that's guttural, that's uh, on their toes. They're not thinking, they're reading and reacting. And what they're said, what they're saying is not necessarily entirely the truth. So instead of answering what they say, as we'll talk about here in a minute, you have to address what their feelings are that are unspoken, and which is this reluctance, this is this concern. So I'll give you a perfect example here of a great way to rebuttal probably a common objection when setting appointments for Medicare Advantage. Because I already got a Medicare plan, I'm happy with it. Okay, so are they really happy with it? Are they really happy with the deductibles, the co-pays, all the benefits out there? Do they really know what the other options are to even make a statement like that? If you really think about the response, it's, it's, it's very surface oriented. There's not a lot of context here. And therefore, there's something else going on here. They think they're happy. They think they're fine. But really, if you dig into it, they don't know who you are. They're not that worried about it, they think. And they're just kind of happy, ho-hum with where they are and not interested in sitting down and get sold on something. So what we have to do is address that kind of reluctance. So how I would answer that objection, I'm fine, I already got Medicare, I would say something as simple as this. Hey, that's fine. All I need is five minutes to show you how these programs work and what you decide to do with this information, Mrs. Prospect, is entirely up to you. Why don't I stop by at 10 o'clock or does two work better? So the way this script works, it's funny. It doesn't sound like it would be effective at first blush, but let me explain the psychology here. So when I say that's fine, I say it in a way that's uh, relieving, relaxing, that's fine. I don't put pressure on them because people are now stressed. They think they're going to be pressured. So I respond in a way that tries to lower their defenses. Hey, that's okay. Then I go into the, so that's the answer. That's the answer. You don't have to come up with some uh, dissertation on, you know, how terrible Medicare, Medicare plans are or get facts from them even because it's not a factual, logical response. You think it sounds like that, but it's an emotional, guttural response. We have to respond in the same way. They answer the same concerns. The next stage is selling the appointment. That's fine. All I need is five minutes for me to show you how these programs work and what you do with this information is entirely up to you. So what that says is, hey, it's fast. There's no obligation. You don't have to worry about anything. And I say it in a tonality that's upbeat, but relax. Hey, that's fine. All I need is five minutes for me to show you how this program works and what you do with this information is entirely up to you. So very relaxed, not pressure, not stressed or angry, none of that stuff. And then we just close. So how about I stop by at two o'clock or does 10 work better? And again, when we close, guys, we're going to give a yes or a yes option. We don't want to say, does that sound okay? Or what do you think about that? Because they could say no. And if there is an option to say no, then that's the answer you're going to get. So give a yes or a yes. How does 10 o'clock or two o'clock sound is the best way to close. So other objections this this works for as I'm not interested, hey, that's fine. I just need five minutes for me to show you how these programs work and what you decide to do with them is entirely up to you, Mrs. Prospect. Why don't I stop by at 10 o'clock or does two work better? 
or, or, you know, why don't you just mail me something? Hey, no problem. All I need is five minutes for me to show you how these programs work. It's my job to deliver it. And what you do with this information is entirely up to you. I'm going to stop by at 10 o'clock or do you think two works better? So that's how I handle Medicare Advantage sales objections. It's a very simple strategy that works for so many objections that you may hear when setting appointments. And I think there's one last point I'm going to leave you with. I think it's, it's critical to understand. If you can take one simple strategy and it can answer or fix a host of different problems, you have something that's valuable. I think one of the things that agents struggle with is trying to remember all these different elaborate rebuttals that they are taught for this particular objection or that one. But the problem is trying to juggle mentally all those objections is going to overwhelm you because how you respond to those objections and the speed at which you do and the energy and, and tenacity makes all the difference. So if we can use one objection rebuttal like the one I taught you to answer the host of objections that you're gonna hear, don't you think that's more valuable? I think that you as a new agent are gonna do a lot better and set more appointments and then hopefully close more deals. Thank you so much for watching. It's David DeFord here at DeFord Insurance Group. If you want to learn more about selling Medicare and my team, you can click the links above or below. It'll take you to a Medicare Advantage sales and marketing opportunity overview. For our most productive agents in our program, we provide subsidized, even free leads, direct mail leads. Uh, we've got agents that don't pay a dime for leads and write lots and lots of businesses. This is the kind of uh, opportunity that we got. So if you want to check out more, go to that page above or below to learn more. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.